change within the strap is the shadow behind it. So I'm going to add a new folder. I'm going to call the strap. Add a new layer. I'm going to take that color by using the eyedropper tool. Change this layer to multiply. And you're going to see what that does. You see how it when it gives that orange hue? So you can either use that method or you can use multiply, change yours to a certain gray. Then start to sh use some shadow. And you can see it kind of muddies it up a little bit. So another technique is also to change the orange to a more darker kind of brown within the same hue. And then begin to shadow. It gives it a lot of more rich tone. Go in again, bring it darker, and get to this top area. You can see the depth you get by that. You go in here, take this surface, add a new layer. You come in here and add a little highlight at the bottom. And come back using my light multiply tool. Just give it a little more depth in that front. And you'll see I'll take some of that color down. So I'll just change the opacity of that so it's not so rich. Seems to be good. I'll add a new layer. Just as that part hits the ground, I'm going to hit it with a little shadow. Okay. One thing I know is the way that I designed this, the strap dives into the case. So I'm going to have a pretty nice line right there. And then as I showed you before, I'm just going to take my eraser tool, subtract from the end so it's not so hard. And use that as more of a highlight edge. I'll bring the opacity down a little bit. I'll come in, select that area, and as I told you before, the strap goes into the case. Same method, taking of a brown using my multiply layer and then just applying paint there. Take a little away, add a new layer.